Hey Scorpio, how's it going? Welcome to your mid-October general reading. I hope you're doing well. As we always do right after this one, I go and do your love reading, which is the extended version of this one. Those of y'all that wanna do that, it's the first link in the description box below. Also in the description box is my email, Instagram, and TikTok. I started a TikTok. Everyone told me to start a TikTok, so I did. It's fun, I like it. Um, so if y'all wanna come hang out over there. Also, I started a new YouTube channel all dedicated towards makeup beauty um, and that kind of thing so if you're interested I will also leave that in the description box below it's called Jacqueline Smith that's me so yeah come subscribe come hang out I get a ton of make I get a ton of makeup questions on this channel so I just started another one all right y'all let's get into this and then also Scorpio I have a huge surprise for y'all if you're interested I'm gonna to talk to you about what the surprise is. Yes, you can be a part of the surprise if you'd like to be. Yes, you, I'm talking about you. You could be included in it if you want to. And I will talk about the surprise at the end of this video as to not waste any more intro time because I've told you all a lot of stuff. Let's talk about you, let's get into the reading. I got a message before, a pre-shuffle message that y'all didn't, y'all like are so determined on something, Scorpio, that you're just, no matter what is getting in your way, you're you're not giving up. The, the not giving up, not giving up, I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up. That kept coming through like very strongly in your pre-shuffle. Um, so maybe that's for some someone, but you're not giving up on something. Okay, Scorpio, what's going on? We have the Ace of Cups in reverse, so maybe right now, Scorpio, I feel like for for y'all, especially in regards to love, I feel like you're super turned off to something. You're not really wanting to, you're not really wanting to give your love out there, and I feel like you're, you're definitely pulling back your energy. Also, a little bit of creativity here. I feel like you're... Um, I feel the complete opposite energy. Those of you that have like a creative project that you want to get started, I feel like with the Ace of Cups in reverse on a creative level is really good, good, good energy. So, and, and that being said, for those of you that are pulling back maybe from someone romantically or pulling back from a family member or pulling back from a friend right now, whatever that's about, you're pulling back emotionally from something. I feel like for a lot of you, you're actually turning that energy into like something very creative, something artsy, and you're doing something with that beautiful energy. What's going on with Scorpio, Empress in Reverse, and the Hierophant? Wow, Taurus, uh, for some of you, we have the Justice in Reverse. So I feel right here, marriage, divorce for some of you. I also, and then you would be Scorpio, this is you, in person reverse. I feel a little bit like you want to, there's something that you're committed to that you feel an injustice in. You feel like something's not fair, something's not working out for you in regards to a commitment. And I also feel like you just don't believe in something anymore. Okay, like you're like, I just don't know. I just don't believe in that anymore. That's for some of you. But the Empress in Reverse is, you know, you're feeling, um, I feel like for some of you, whatever you've committed yourself to, it takes precedence like over everything every day. I don't know why I'm feeling like that for y'all. What's crossing this for Scorpio? What's crossing this? The Tower, this is you, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like for some of you, you're very much on the fence. Something has happened or is about to happen. And this is a huge transformation, either an ending. This is huge, huge, huge life moments. Like a breakup, like losing a job, maybe losing someone, you know what I mean? Um, and then with the Two of Pentacles, I really, really feel like you're... To the Six of Cups, Scorpio, you want to drastically change a situation that you're in but I feel like the only way you know how to do it is to completely leave yeah we have the seven of swords there's someone who's very man manipulative towards you the seven of swords is looking back at you at the death card so I really feel like you're gonna throw a tower at the situation and completely leave someone or leave a situation in the dark 
the true focus is the Knight of Wands, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Strength card. This has been a very slow and go path and a slow and go journey that's been very uncertain. There's been a, a journey that you've been on with a person or just a journey that you've been on within yourself that you're just like, where, where are we ever going to see the light at the end of the tunnel? Are we ever going to make it to where we're trying to get to? And I feel like with this coming up in reverse that you're putting a stop to it and it was a huge uh, decision for you, but it was also with the strength card, a very difficult decision for you to do. Like you really had to like, okay, I'm going to do this. And you had to like end something here. Okay. Or that's what your that's what your focus is right now at least even if you haven't yet that's what the focus is what's been in the past queen of cups in reverse so you also could be connecting with another water sign also could be just representing your relationship but this is you crying upset not happy not having it you know where I, I feel like this is where your butt buttons get pushed, where someone pushes you so, so much to where you have to kind of like get loud and be like, listen, I'm upset and like really give it to them. And um, yeah, and with the two of wands in reverse, I feel like you're, I feel like you, you've been wanting to start a new path for yourself and go on a new direction here, but you're, there's been a delay. There's been a delay. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this back, but this literally flew flew out and flew off, almost flew off of my table. The king and queen of wands with the justice. Queen is in reverse, justice is in reverse. I feel like this has been a lot of... How do I say this nicely? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to say this nicely. I feel like at one time, I feel like one day y'all are a power couple or a power team or if it's about you and your work partner or whatever, it's like one day y'all are a power couple and the next day you don't, you don't want anything to do with them because of their behavior, because of their behavior. They have wild behavior. You're dealing with someone with wild behavior is what I keep picking up on. What's the crowning energy here? Yeah. Stop overextending yourself. Knight of Cups in reverse. This was also in your pre-shuffle with the Fool in reverse, and that's where I was getting. You're just not gonna give up. So yeah, you're you're <laughs> you're not gonna give up on you. That's what it is. I feel like for some of you, you've like this this situation has make been making you feel so many different ways that you've even like been questioning your own sanity a little bit. And that for now, you're no, you know that you don't want to take this to the next level. You have found out your answers with the Hermit in reverse. You've done some soul searching recently, Scorpio. And I feel like you've figured out that you don't want to put one more dime effort or any piece of energy at all into leveling up and taking this to the next level. Again, whatever the situation is for you, you're saying no more, I'm just not gonna put anything into it right now. Okay, the Knight of Wands came out. So yeah, I really feel like this has been, this is like a huge, you're having to be so like ballsy and brave here. This is really making you step out of your comfort zone. And when we do that, when we have to do something that terrifies us and we step out of our comfort zone, you're gonna be so smacked in the face with how amazing and proud of yourself that you'll be because you'll see that when you're challenged so hard and you're just like, I'm so terrified to do this, but I know it's what I need to do because I've had enough of whatever and you get up the courage and you get up the courage to do so, you're gonna be so shocked and surprised about how it was all worth it and how you, you're gonna be so proud of yourself. Okay, so what's in the future here for Scorpio? Yeah, 10 of, pe ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm gonna just take the first two that came out. And then Nine of Pentacles in reverse. That's 19 Pentacles in reverse, Scorpio. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse.
I feel like for a lot of you, this is saying that, I feel like if this is about, say for example, a connection or a relationship and y'all live together and have the family home and the everything, that in the future that you're out or they're out in some kind of regard, and that they might even try to come after, I feel like someone's trying to come after your money, your home, your something. I heard an investment. I would be very careful about who you're dealing with. What's Scorpio's power here? Page of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups, Six of Wands. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Keep that offer down. I feel like you're continuing to, yeah, major changes here. The universe is hearing you and they're bringing major change into the situation where you're gonna be on top, Scorpio. This is, means you're the winner here. And it's not about win or loser, but whatever you've been going through, and, and, you're, and I mean winner as in whatever fears you're facing, because Knight of Wands is facing your fears. And I feel like this Knight of Wands in reverse is actually you like digging deep and doing something you've never done before whatever that means to you. But again, the outcome is going to be, like I said, you're, I heard, they just, I just saw spirit, like, they were like, they're going to smack them in the face with just how much amazement and change and, and victory that they're going to receive. I don't know why it's coming across so intensely like that, but it is, you know, your, your, this is your power. Say no. Your power is no. Your power is no. You know, you know that whatever situation in for, as Four of Cups, you know that something better is around the corner in your future and you're just a little bit stuck right now. And to get unstuck, you gotta do something real brave. Say no to someone, get on your horse and ride on because everyone else in this situation sees your viewpoint here, Scorpio, understands and they're like, yeah, get out of there. What's around Scorpio? What's in their environment? Six of swords, yeah. The wheel and the nine of swords in reverse. So, I mean, both of y'all are becoming way less stressed, which is really good. And the six of swords with the wheel of fortune is major change. Moving, moving on, moving away, could be connecting with a Leo. Y'all are both having to be tough. And for some of you, I'm picking up a separate message that y'all are moving away together for like for whatever this is money business family something like that like you and a friend are going away together to go start a business or, or something like that but whoever's around you there's positive change coming for them as well Hopes and fears, eight of wands. Hopes and fears for Scorpio here. Ace of pentacles in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse. You're, you're done doing the juggle. You're done doing the dance. You're done doing the hot, cold. I don't know if I'm gonna walk on eggshells today or if it's gonna be all right today. That's what I feel for y'all. I feel like someone, like I do feel a little bit of like a, Again, you're gonna like box someone off or something like that and yeah, temperance in reverse. Someone that you're dealing with is having some, some type of an addiction, control issues, um, codependent energy and, and I just don't feel like you wanna waste your time on that any longer, right Scorpio? Okay, let's get the outcome and I'll talk about your surprise and then we'll go do your love reading. Page of Wands in reverse, turning them down, saying no, turning them down emotionally, turning them down physically. <laughs> Four of Wands in reverse is at the bottom of the deck here. So this has come up for a couple people. Um, I really feel like by the end of the year, you're really gonna see who's with you and who's not. And you've been doing your soul searching because at the bottom of the deck, again, Scorpio, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, which I feel like is a breakup or a separation or some type of departure between you and something in a connection or home. And you've done your soul searching and realized right behind that Five of Wands that you've been praying for this. You've been praying for this to be over with. 
Okay, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. If you wanna do the love reading where we connect with your other person, that's gonna be in the description box below. And what the surprise is, is in the next readings for November, we're currently in the mid-October readings. So in the next reading for, uh, I'm sorry, for your November reading, I'm gonna pull one of y'all's cards. So once we get to the end of the reading, I'm gonna randomly pick one of y'all's names, Scorpio, and I'm gonna pick one of y'all's cards. So if you want me to pick your card, just leave your name in the comments below in this video, and I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna um, just kind of pull through and pick someone at random. And it's only for subscribers. And yes, I can tell if you're a subscriber on my end. When I look at everything from my end, I can tell every time I leave a comment if there's an icon or not if you're a subscriber. So it is only for subscribers. Subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed if you want me to pick your card and and that's it It's just gonna be a random card pull I thought it'd be something fun to kind of lift our spirits. It's been a really really tough year for everybody out there and I just thought I was like what what's something I can do to kind of You know make it make things a little bit more fun for y'all and just you know, so anyways if you're interested, again, just leave your name below, make sure you're subscribed, and I might pick your card next time, uh, next time we do the readings for November. So I'm off to do your love reading now. Don't forget to check that one out if you want to. Lots of love, Scorpio. I know you're going through a lot. Stay strong. I'm so proud of y'all. This is um, a huge, huge thing that you're going through and you're being really, really brave, and trust me, it's gonna pay off. Trust me, it's gonna pay off. Love you, bye.